Coulomb's law, or Coulomb's inverse square law, is a law of physics for quantifying Coulomb's force, or electrostatic force. Electrostatic force is the amount of force with which stationary, electrically charged particles either repel, or attract each other. This force and the law for quantifying it, represent one of the most basic forms of force used in the physical sciences, and were an essential basis to the study and development of the theory and field of classical electromagnetism. The law was first published in 1785 by French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb. In its scalar form, the law is F equals K E Q one Q two R two Display style F equals K underscore E frac Q underscore one Q underscore two R carrot two where K is Coulomb's constant, K approximately equals nine times one hundred and nine Nm two C minus two, Q one and Q two are the signed magnitudes of the charges, and the scalar R is the distance between the charges. The force of the interaction between the charges is attractive if the charges have opposite signs i.e., f is negative and repulsive if like signed i.e., f is positive. Being an inverse square law, the law is analogous to Isaac Newton's inverse square law of universal gravitation. Coulomb's law can be used to derive Gauss's law, and vice versa. The law has been tested extensively, and all observations have upheld the laws of Newton. History Ancient cultures around the Mediterranean knew that certain objects, such as rods of amber, could be rubbed with cat's fur to attract light objects like feathers. Thales of Miletus made a series of observations on static electricity around 600 BC, from which he believed that friction rendered amber magnetic, in contrast to minerals such as magnetite, which needed no rubbing. Thales was incorrect in believing the attraction was due to a magnetic effect, but later science would prove a link between magnetism and electricity. Electricity would remain little more than an intellectual curiosity for millennia until 1600, when the English scientist William Gilbert made a careful study of electricity and magnetism, distinguishing the lodestone effect from static electricity produced by rubbing amber. He coined the new Latin word electricus, of amber, or like amber, from electron, electron, the Greek word for amber, to refer to the property of attracting small objects after being rubbed. This association gave rise to the English words electric and electricity, which made their first appearance in print in Thomas Brown's Pseudodoxia Epidemica of 1646. Early investigators of the 18th century who suspected that the electrical force diminished with distance as the force of gravity did, i.e., as the inverse square of the distance, included Daniel Bernoulli and Alessandro Volta, both of whom measured the force between plates of a capacitor, and Franz Apinus, who supposed the inverse square law in 1758. Based on experiments with electrically charged spheres, Joseph Priest of England was among the first to propose that electrical force followed an inverse square law, similar to Newton's law of universal gravitation. However, he did not generalize or elaborate on this. In 1767, he conjectured that the force between charges varied as the inverse square of the distance. In 1769, Scottish physicist John Robison announced that, according to his measurements, the force of repulsion between two spheres with charges of the same sign varied as x 2.06. In the early 1770s, the dependence of the force between charged bodies upon both distance and charge had already been discovered, but not published, by Henry Cavendish of England. Finally, in 1785, the French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb published his first three reports of electricity and magnetism where he stated his law. This publication was essential to the development of the theory of electromagnetism. He used a torsion balance to study the repulsion and attraction forces of charged particles, and determined that the magnitude of the electric force between two-point charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The torsion balance consists of a bar suspended from its middle by a thin fiber. The fiber acts as a very weak torsion spring. In Coulomb's experiment, the torsion balance was an insulating rod with a metal-coated ball attached to one end, suspended by a silk thread. 
The ball was charged with a known charge of static electricity, and a second charge ball of the same polarity was brought near it. The two charge balls repelled one another, twisting the fiber through a certain angle, which could be read from a scale on the instrument. By knowing how much force it took to twist the fiber through a given angle, Coulomb was able to calculate the force between the balls and derive his inverse square proportionality law. The law Coulomb's law states that the magnitude of the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitudes of charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The force is along the straight line joining them. If the two charges have the same sign, the electrostatic force between them is repulsive, if they have different signs, the force between them is attractive. Coulomb's law can also be stated as a simple mathematical expression. The scalar and vector forms of the mathematical equation are F equals K E Q 1 Q 2 R 2 Display style Math BF F equals K underscore E Q underscore one Q underscore two over R carrot two Q quad and F one equals K E Q one Q two R twenty one Two R carrot twenty one Display style Q quad Math BF F underscore one equals K underscore E frac Q underscore one Q underscore two Math BF R underscore twenty one carrot two Math BF hat R underscore twenty one Q quad Respectively, where K is Coulomb's constant K equals eight 9 quadrillion 875 trillion 517 billion 873 million 681 thousand 764 times 109 nm 2 c minus 2 q1 and q2 are the signed magnitudes of the charges the scalar r is the distance between the charges the vector r 21 equals r 1 minus r 2 is the vectorial distance between the charges and r 21 Topic R twenty one R twenty one a unit vector pointing from Q two to Q one. The vector form of the equation calculates the force F one applied on Q one by Q two. If R twelve is used instead, then the effect on Q two can be found. It can be also calculated using Newton's third law F two minus F one. Topic. Units When the electromagnetic theory is expressed using the international system of units, force is measured in newtons, charge in coulombs, and distance in meters. Coulomb's constant is given by K. Topic. One quarter P0. The constant epsilon zero is the electric constant also known as the absolute permittivity of free space in c2 m minus 2 n minus 1 it should not be confused with epsilon r which is the dimensionless relative permittivity of the material in which the charges are immersed or with their product epsilon r epsilon 0 epsilon r which is called absolute permittivity of the material and is still used in electrical engineering the SI-derived units for the electric field are volts per meter, newtons per coulomb, or tesla meters per second. Coulomb's law and Coulomb's constant can also be interpreted in various terms. Atomic units. In atomic units the force is expressed in Hartree's per Bohr radius, the charge in terms of the elementary charge, and the distances in terms of the Bohr radius. Electrostatic units or Gaussian units. 
In electrostatic units and Gaussian units, the unit charge ESU or stat -coulomb is defined in such a way that the Coulomb constant K disappears because it has the value of 1 and becomes dimensionless. Lorentz heaviside units also called rationalized. In Lorentz heaviside units the Coulomb constant is K equals 1 quarter pi and becomes dimensionless. Gaussian units and Lorentz heaviside units, both of which are CGS unit systems, are often preferred in the treatment of electromagnetism as they greatly simplify formulas. equals topic electric field equals an electric field is a vector field that associates to each point in space the Coulomb force experienced by a test charge. In the simplest case, the field is considered to be generated solely by a single source point charge. The strength and direction of the Coulomb force F on a test charge quart depends on the electric field E that it finds itself in, such that F equals QTE. If the field is generated by a positive source point charge Q, the direction of the electric field points along lines directed radially outwards from it, i.e. in the direction that a positive point test charge quart would move if placed in the field. For a negative point source charge, the direction is radially inwards. The magnitude of the electric field E can be derived from Coulomb's law. By choosing one of the point charges to be the source, and the other to be the test charge, it follows from Coulomb's law that the magnitude of the electric field E created by a single source point charge Q at a certain distance from it R in vacuum is given by E equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 Q R 2 Display style bold symbol e equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero q over r caret two. Topic Coulomb's constant. Coulomb's constant is a proportionality factor that appears in Coulomb's law as well as in other electric-related formulas. Denoted K, it is also called the electric force constant or electrostatic constant, hence the subscript E. The exact value of Coulomb's constant is K E equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 equals C 0 2 mu 0 4 pi equals c 0 2 times 10 minus 7 h m minus 1 equals 8 Nine hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred and fifty one seven eight seven three six eight one seven six four times ten nine NM two C minus two Display style begin aligned K underscore E and equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero equals frac C underscore zero carrot two mu underscore zero four pi equals C underscore zero carrot two times ten carrot minus seven mathram H C D O T M carrot minus one and equals Equals eight nine hundred and eighty seven five hundred and fifty one seven hundred and eighty seven three hundred and sixty eight one hundred and seventy six four times ten carat nine mathram N C D O T M carat two C D O T C carat minus two end aligned Topic Limitations There are three conditions to be fulfilled for the validity of Coulomb's law. The charges must have a spherically symmetric distribution e.g. be point charges, or a charged metal sphere. The charges must not overlap e.g. they must be distinct point charges. The charges must be stationary with respect to each other, the last of these is the most important, it is known as the electrostatic approximation. 
When movement takes place, Einstein's theory of relativity must be taken into consideration, and a result, an extra factor is introduced, which alters the force produced on the two objects. This extra part of the force is called the magnetic force, and is described by magnetic fields. For slow movement, the magnetic force is minimal and Coulomb's law can still be considered approximately correct, but when the charges are moving more quickly in relation to each other, the full electrodynamic rules incorporating the magnetic force must be considered. <laughs> Quantum field theory origin In simple terms, the Coulomb potential derives from the QED Lagrangian as follows. The Lagrangian of quantum electrodynamics is normally written in natural units, but in SI units, it is L Q E D equals psi I C gamma mu D mu minus m c 2 psi minus 1 4 c f mu nu f mu nu Display style mathcal L underscore mathrm QED equals bar psi I H B A R C gamma carrot mu D underscore mu M C carrot two psi frac one four H B A R C F underscore mu nu F carrot mu nu where the covariant derivative in SI units is D mu equals mu plus I G C A mu display style d underscore mu equals partial underscore mu plus frac i g h b a r c a underscore mu where G display style G is the gauge coupling parameter. By putting the covariant derivative into the Lagrangian explicitly, the interaction term, the term involving both display style a and psi display style psi is seen to be l i n t equals i g psi gamma mu a mu psi Display style math cool L underscore mathrm int equals I G bar psi gamma carrot mu are underscore mu psi. The most basic Feynman diagram for a QED interaction between two fermions is the exchange of a single photon, with no loops. Following the Feynman rules, this therefore contributes two QED vertex factors. I G Q gamma mu Display style IGQ gamma underscore mu to the potential where Q is the QED charge operator. Q gives the charge in terms of the electron charge, and hence is exactly minus one for electrons, etc. For the photon in the diagram, the Feynman rules demand the contribution of one bosonic massless propagator. C K two Display style left frac h b a r c k carrot two right. Ignoring the momentum on the external legs, the fermions, the potential is therefore v r equals one two pi three e i k r i q one G two Gamma Mu I Q two G two Gamma Mu C K two 
d 3 k display style v math bf r equals frac 1 2 pi caret 3 int e caret frac i math bf k c d o t r h b a r i q underscore 1 g caret 2 gamma underscore mu i q underscore 2 g caret 2 gamma underscore mu frac h b r c k caret 2 d caret 3 k which can be more usefully written as v r equals minus G two C Q one Q two four Pi one two Pi three E I K R four Pi eta mu nu k two d three k Display style v math bf r equals frac g caret two h bar c q underscore one q underscore two four pi frac one two pi caret three int e caret frac i math bf k c d o t r h bar frac four pi eta underscore mu nu k caret two d caret three k where q i display style q underscore i is the QED charge on the ITH particle. Recognizing the integral as just being a Fourier transform enables the equation to be simplified V R equals minus G 2 C Q 1 Q 2 4 pi one R Display style V Math BF R equals frac G carrot two H B A R C Q underscore one Q underscore two four pi frac one R For various reasons, it is more convenient to define the fine structure constant alpha equals G two four pi Display style alpha equals frac g caret two four pi, and then define e equals four pi alpha epsilon zero c. Display style e equals sqrt four pi alpha var epsilon underscore zero h b a r c. Rearranging these definitions gives G two C equals E two Epsilon zero Display style G carrot two H B A R C equals frac E carrot two var epsilon underscore zero. It is worth noting that G equals E Display style g equals e in natural units, since in those units equals one. Display style h b a r equals one. C equals one. Display style c equals one. And epsilon zero equals one. Display style var epsilon underscore zero equals one. Continuing in SI units, the potential is therefore V R equals minus E two four Pi Epsilon zero Q one Q two R display style v math bf r equals frac e caret two four pi var epsilon underscore zero frac q underscore one q underscore two r. 
defining q i equals e q i display style q underscore i equals e q underscore i as the macroscopic electric charge makes e the macroscopic electric charge for an electron and enables the formula to be put into the familiar form of the coulomb potential v r equals minus 1 4 pi epsilon 0 q 1 q 2 r display style v math bf r equals frac minus 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 frac q underscore 1 q underscore 2 r the force d v r d r display style frac dv math bf r drive is therefore F R equals one four Pi Epsilon zero Q one Q two R two Display style F Math BF R equals frac one four Pi var epsilon underscore zero frac q underscore one q underscore two R carrot two. The derivation makes clear that the force law is only an approximation. It ignores the momentum of the input and output fermion lines, and ignores all quantum corrections, i.e. the myriad possible diagrams with internal loops. The Coulomb potential, and its derivation, can be seen as a special case of the Yukawa potential specifically, the case where the exchanged boson, the photon, has no rest mass. According to Coulomb's law the force of attraction and repulsion between two stationary charges is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to square of distance between them. F euro Q1 Q2 minus 1 F one euro per R minus two from one and two F euro Q one Q two R squared F equals K Q one Q two R squared where F equals electrostatic force between charges Q one equals charge on first body Q two equals charge on second body R equals distance between objects K equals electrostatic constant Topic. Scalar form When it is of interest to know the magnitude of the electrostatic force and not its direction, it may be easiest to consider a scalar version of the law. The scalar form of Coulomb's law relates the magnitude and sign of the electrostatic force F acting simultaneously on two point charges Q1 and Q2 as follows F equals K E Q one Q two R two Display style bold symbol F equals K underscore E Q underscore one Q underscore two over R carrot two where R is the separation distance and K is Coulomb's constant. If the product Q1 Q2 is positive, the force between the two charges is repulsive, if the product is negative, the force between them is attractive. <laughs> Vector form Coulomb's law states that the electrostatic force F1 experienced by a charge, Q1 at position R1, in the vicinity of another charge, Q2 at position R2, in a vacuum is equal to F1 equals Q1 Q2 4 pi epsilon 0 R one minus R two R one minus 
a two three equals q one q two four pi epsilon zero r carrot twenty one r twenty one two Display style bold symbol f underscore one equals q underscore one q underscore two over four pi var epsilon underscore zero bold symbol r underscore one r underscore two over bold symbol r underscore one r underscore two carrot three equals q underscore one q underscore two over four pi var epsilon underscore zero bold symbol hat r underscore twenty one over bold symbol r underscore twenty one carrot two where are twenty one? Topic R one minus R two, the unit vector R twenty one R twenty one, R twenty one, and epsilon zero is the electric constant. The vector form of Coulomb's law is simply the scalar definition of the law with the direction given by the unit vector, R, 21, parallel with the line from charge Q2 to charge Q1. If both charges have the same sign like charges, then the product Q1 Q2 is positive and the direction of the force on Q1 is given by R, 21, the charges repel each other. If the charges have opposite signs then the product Q1 Q2 is negative and the direction of the force on Q1 is given by minus R, 21 equals R, 12, the charges attract each other. The electrostatic force F2 experienced by Q2, according to Newton's third law, is F2 equals minus F1 equals System of discrete charges equals the superposition principle. Law of superposition allows Coulomb's law to be extended to include any number of point charges. The force acting on a point charge due to a system of point charges is simply the vector addition of the individual forces acting alone on that point charge due to each one of the charges. The resulting force vector is parallel to the electric field vector at that point, with that point charge removed. The force F on a small charge Q at position R, due to a system of n discrete charges in vacuum is F, F R equals Q 4 pi epsilon 0 I equals one N Q I R minus R I R minus R I three equals Q four Pi Epsilon zero I equals 1 n q i r i caret r i 2 Display style bold symbol F R equals Q over four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals one carrot N Q underscore I bold symbol R R underscore I over bold symbol R R underscore I carrot three equals Q over four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals one carrot N Q underscore I bold symbol wide hat R underscore I over bold symbol R underscore I carrot two where Qi and Ri are the magnitude and position respectively of the ith charge, R, I is a unit vector in the direction of Ri. Equals R minus Ri a vector pointing from charges Qi to Q. Equals Topic. Continuous charge distribution Equals in this case, the principle of linear superposition is also used. 
for a continuous charge distribution, an integral over the region containing the charge is equivalent to an infinite summation, treating each infinitesimal element of space as a point charge dq. The distribution of charge is usually linear, surface or volumetric. For a linear charge distribution, a good approximation for charge in a wire, where lambda r gives the charge per unit length at position r and dl is an infinitesimal element of length d q equals lambda r d l display style dq equals lambda bold symbol r dl for a surface charge distribution, a good approximation for charge on a plate in a parallel plate capacitor, where sigma r gives the charge per unit area at position r, and d is an infinitesimal element of area, d q equals sigma r d a display style dq equals sigma bold symbol r d. For a volume charge distribution such as charge within a bulk metal where rho r gives the charge per unit volume at position r and dv is an infinitesimal element of volume d q equals rho r d v display style dq equals rho bold symbol r dv the force on a small test charge Q at position R in vacuum is given by the integral over the distribution of charge F, F equals Q four pi epsilon zero D Q R minus R R minus Three Display style bold symbol F equals Q over four pi var epsilon underscore zero int DQ bold symbol R bold symbol R over bold symbol R bold symbol R carrot three Topic simple experiment to verify Coulomb's law it is possible to verify Coulomb's law with a simple experiment. Consider two small spheres of mass m and same sign charge q, hanging from two ropes of negligible mass of length l. The forces acting on each sphere are three, the weight mg, the rope tension t and the electric force f in the equilibrium state, and, dividing 1 by 2, let l1 be the distance between the charged spheres, the repulsion force between them f1, assuming Coulomb's law is correct, is equal to so, if we now discharge one of the spheres, and we put it in contact with the charged sphere, each one of them acquires a charge q, 2. In the equilibrium state, the distance between the charges will be L2 we know that F2 equals mg tan θ2. And, q244 pi e0 L22 equals mg tan θ2 display style frac frac q caret 2 4 4 pi epsilon underscore 0 L underscore 2 caret 2 equals mg tan θ underscore 2 dividing 4 by 5, we get, measuring the angles θ1 and θ2 and the distance between the charges L1 and L2 is sufficient to verify that the equality is true taking into account the experimental error. In practice, angles can be difficult to measure, so if the length of the ropes is sufficiently great, the angles will be small enough to make the following approximation. Using this approximation, the relationship 6 becomes the much simpler expression. In this way, the verification is limited to measuring the distance between the charges and check that the division approximates the theoretical value. Topic: <laughs> Atomic forces. Coulomb's law holds even within atoms, correctly describing the force between the positively charged atomic nucleus and each of the negatively charged electrons. This simple law also correctly accounts for the forces that bind atoms together to form molecules and for the forces that bind atoms and molecules together to form solids and liquids. Generally, as the distance between ions increases, the force of attraction, and binding energy, approach zero and ionic bonding is less favorable. As the magnitude of opposing charges increases, energy increases and ionic bonding is more favorable. See also 
Bio Savar law, Darwin Lagrangian, Electromagnetic force, Gauss's law, Method of image charges, Molecular modeling, Newton's law of universal gravitation, which uses a similar structure, but for mass instead of charge, Static forces and virtual particle exchange. Equals equals notes. <laughs>